like to introduce you to an early Irish harp. And not just any early Irish harp, a particular early Irish harp. This is my current student copy of the Downhill Harp. And I want to tell you a little bit about that harp and, and why this is the one that I want to play. The early Irish harp uh, is the type of harp that was played in Ireland from about the 12th century right up into the very beginning of the 19th century. So much wonderful research is being done into not only sources for the music, but also organology of the instruments. We've had organology done on the Queen Mary harp, which proves that it's 14th century. It's just so exciting. Um, we, have, um, we have people working on the making of the instruments, so how they're made, measuring them, looking at the way they're made, and then we have people who are actually making them. So this is all an extremely exciting time for the early Irish harp to be in the historically informed performance area and to be studied in that way. So about this harp, this harp, the downhill harp, we know when, where, when it was made, we know who made it. We're just going to show you this book by uh, Robert Bruce Armstrong. Um, it's an amazing study of all the Irish harps. It's an old study, so some of the new organology um, has superseded it. But he talks about the downhill harp. And on the box of the harp, on the side of the box, um, are etched these words. In the time of Noah, I was green. Since his flood, I have not been seen. Until 1702, I was found by C.R. Kelly underground. He raised me up to that degree, queen of music, you may call me. So this harp was a very special harp. Now, the student copy of the harp that I have here um, is not half as elaborate as the real thing. It's a student copy, which means the Historical Harp Society of Ireland can rent it out, or it's easily affordable by a student. But in all aspects of playing, for technique, for sound, and everything like that, it is accurate. Um, but let's talk about the, the harp. I've often gone to see the harp. The harp still exists. It's, uh, it was made in 1702, and it was then played by a harper called Dennis O'Hampsey, who I'll talk about in a little bit. And it was played, he played that harp for his whole life. And the harp, uh, he played it until the early parts of the 19th century, believe it or not. And so the harp uh, then went into private ownership and finally ended up being bought by Guinness. And it now stands in a nice glass case in the Guinness Hop Store on the level where all the Guinness ads are. So it's surrounded by all the fancy dancy advertisements and silly little toucans and such like, and plus all the little um, jingles coming out of all the speakers. And there is standing in front of you in a uh, glass case is this amazing harp with such an amazing history. The wire-strung harp uh, is a heavy instrument. It's, it's, it's built very robustly. And this is because the wire strings put a great strain on the frame. The interesting thing about the, all the Irish, the older Irish harps are that the box is made by, uh, from one piece hollowed out. Uh, the strings are brass. Could be silver, maybe gold in the old time, but by the time the downhill is uh, made, um, the strings are all brass. And uh, the harp is made with no glue. So it's the tension of the strings that holds these tenon and mortise joints together, which is really magical. This was the sound that they wanted. So it's a bell-like sound that goes on and on and on. So I'd really like to tell you about the harper who played this harp, because that's a really special story, and it's one of the reasons why this is the harp I want to play. Dennis Hampson, or Dennis O'Hampsey, um, was born in 1695, just a little few years after Carolyn, so he was contemporary with Carolyn. He was born in the 17th century. He lived for the whole of the 18th century. And in his 19, 90s, in 1792, he came to Belfast for the Belfast Harp Meeting, where a young man, 19-year-old organist, named Edward Bunting, met him as one of the harpers that he collected from. He had been asked to come to this meeting to collect the music and write it down. So, um, so Bunting met um, 
Dennis O'Hempsey, and he was absolutely fascinated by him. He was playing with his nails, which none of the other harpers at that stage were doing, and he played, or he preferred to play, the older music from his youth. Therefore, playing music that he was taught by his teachers, which would bring us back to the 17th century. So that was his preferred uh, repertoire and in the old way. So Bunting tried to gather some of that. So Dennis O'Hempsey was old-fashioned. He lived until he was 112. He played his harp till shortly before he died. The harp he played was the downhill harp. And that combination of a harp that we know so much about, that we still is still extant, and the music of the man who played it for almost his whole life is what makes this the harp that I want to play.